Well, here we have the brand new BMW M2, the second generation compact entry level, if you will, BMW M car. And this one, as an all new vehicle, marks an important milestone for BMW M because this will be the last ever car to feature no electrification or hybridization. So while this is a bit of a, a bookend and a milestone of sorts, let's take some time to have a bit of a walk around the car and find out what you need to know before it hits showrooms in April. Well, being an M car, the most exciting part of the new M2 is, of course, the heart of the beast. This is the BMW S58, the three litre twin turbo inline six cylinder engine. Now, if that name sounds a bit familiar, it should. This is the same engine that you find in the current BMW M3 and M4, albeit slightly detuned. Only slightly though, it is just seven kilowatts at 338 kilowatts, only seven kilowatts away from an M3. 550 newton meters puts it 20 newton meters away from an m3 but importantly this car is seven kilowatts up on the previous range topping m2 cs so with the new car while it is a little bit bigger and a little bit heavier you are getting proper m3 and m4 power in still a pretty compact footprint so it is exciting now speaking about that weight increase part of the reason that that has happened is that you've got an upgraded cooling system here for the s58 that does add a, a fair amount of weight and complexity to the car but what it does is it gives you that reliable performance that you want whether you're out on the road or out on the track let's take a look at the back so now the second most important part of the new m2 is the boot kidding it has one, that's really all you need to know. No, the second most important part of this car is from that angle, the far more aggressive and boxed arch flared bodywork. You can see from there, you've got these really, really pumped guards, both at the front and the rear, uh, that give the, the new M2 a bit of an homage back to the original E30 M3, that very famously had flared and, and boxed guards. Now, it isn't to everyone's taste. You can see here with the rear bumper, it's very angular, it sticks out a long way, I will say that it does look a lot better in the flesh than it does in pictures, and I imagine on the road it will have, well, some pretty impressive presence, considering you've got these quad pipes down here, uh, 100 mil exhaust tips on them. The colour too, in keeping with BMW M fashion, is named after a racetrack. This is Zandvoort Blue, and it kind of nearly matches my jacket. Just do yourself a favour and don't park next to any Hyundai i30 ends at the car park. The 19 inch front and 20 inch rear staggered wheels are standard. The carbon fiber roof is standard. The LED adaptive headlamps are standard. The flush door handles and comfort access is standard. It's a very, very high level of equipment for this car for the Australian market. Pricing, it's just under $120,000 plus options and on roads that puts it about $30,000 less than an entry level M3. It's worth noting that when you remember the S58 under the bonnet and the rest of the driveline is all M3 because unlike the previous generation car, this is actually based on the 3 Series. It is shorter, it's got a shorter wheelbase, it's shorter overall, even though it is bigger than the outgoing car. So you do have a heavier car, it is a slightly bigger car, but you've got an awful lot more power and an awful lot more capability. Now, I said earlier that this is the last ever BMW M car not to feature hybridization or electrification in some way. There's also one other bookend feature that this is the last BMW M car to feature, and it's on the inside. Well, inside the office of the new M2, you are treated to some pretty impressive technology. You've got a single uh, glass curved screen here with two displays, a 14.9 inch touch screen here for the BMW iDrive or, or OS that it's running here, and a 12.3 inch uh, digital instrument cluster. It means that this is in line with the updated 3 Series and a lot of the other BMW models out in market. But probably the most important thing to note about the interior of this car is this you can still spec the new M2 with a six-speed manual transmission. Now, this will be the last ever BMW M car to be engineered with a manual. So it's got no hybridization. You can have it with a manual. This is as pure as a BMW M car can get in 2023. And sadly, this will be the last one. That said, it still has plenty of other technology. If you choose the uh, eight-speed automatic, you get the full suite of BMW's driver assistance technology, which includes adaptive cruise control. Adaptive cruise doesn't work with a manual, just in case you didn't know. So if you choose the six-speed, uh, you've got regular cruise control. 
This car has been upgraded with a, it's roughly $15,000 carbon fiber and interior package. It also gives you the BMW driver's package, which extends the top speed of the car to 285 kilometers an hour. Handy for the morning commute. Uh, the carbon fiber adornments around the cabin, it's, it's really quite nice. You get these crazy carbon fiber seats, which having driven in an M4 with these, they are actually surprisingly comfortable, but the standard interior is still pretty impressive too. Remembering this is a two plus two sports coupe. You've got enough room in the back there for a, a, a short school run for, well, certainly smaller children in there or smaller adults as the case may be. You've also got all the things you need in terms of heated seats and BMW infotainment. It is a car that you can actually live with on a day-to-day -day commute and then choose either one of your uh, M1 or M2 preset settings and turn this docile bright blue coupe into an absolute monster. So there you have it, the brand new second generation BMW M2. So the key things to take away from this, yes, it's a bigger car, it is a heavier car, but it's a more powerful car. You've got BMW M3, M4 engine and running gear in this thing. You've got a very high standard level of equipment. You've got some pretty impressive technology inside, but perhaps the most important thing to take away is that the new BMW M2 is the last ever BMW internal combustion only car. No electrification, no hybridization in this car. It's the last BMW M car to be engineered with a manual transmission. So if you are looking at something as a bit of a BMW M legacy to have in the garage and perhaps pass on to future generations to remind them of a time gone by where we didn't need batteries and we uh, changed gears ourselves, then perhaps one of these has got your name on it. And as noted, it's gonna be in dealers and on the road from April. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get a notification every time a new video is published. If you want to find out anything more about the new BMW M2 or any other car on the market, head on over to drive.com.au.